In this old guy DIY video, I'm going to work to modify this walker that I got for a couple bucks at a yard sale into something that can be used uh, to hold stabilizers like outriggers on this boat. Now when I'm by myself, everything is fine. Sometimes I travel with kids or older people who aren't very stable in the boat. I'm not looking for something that's going to be in contact with the water when we're under power. Just if in fact we're stopped hunting or fishing someplace and the other person moves and I don't know what's coming and uh, I don't want to end up with either of us in a drink. So based on some other videos I've seen online where guys are using crutches and that type of thing, I took a look at this thing and I thought, well, I could disassemble it. I've never taken one apart, but I'll disassemble it first and see what I can come up with. I'll keep you posted. So it looks like this thing's going to work out okay. I took off the legs on both sides. You had the one with the roller, and then on this one, if you saw the initial picture, it had a couple of tennis balls. But since the aluminum tubing is the same on both sides, down here and on this side, I just took those legs off. And then I took the part that had the tennis balls and I used it basically to splice the two parts together. And then I took these parts that had been up here, uh, I guess they were over here, but they were holding it apart and I knew I needed it shorter. So I marked where I needed to cut it off. I just took a grinder and chopped that end off. But when you look into the uh, into the spacer, the thing that's actually holding it together is just this little guy that has a little metal piece on the back. So when you put your bolt through this side, it pulls it down and just keeps the tube tight. So I cut this one off and tightened it up, and now I'm going to do the same thing uh, with this other side. I have it cut off, I just need to install it. Now when thinking about this and designing it, I took one side of the walker and the other side of the walker and then these were the short pieces that had the tennis balls on them and I just laid it across my boat and it's not quite as wide as I'm looking for so I'm going to take the wheels off the longer midsection and then uh, I was successful in using it to mate these two pieces they each have the detent ball there and it's the same diameter so I can use that middle section to set the length where I want it. So I'll take care of that and be back to you. So I've removed the wheels from the longer section and now I'm going to use the long section to attach these two side pieces to each other. Now I've created what looks like a good solid lightweight cross piece. And I'll go down and grab a couple of fenders and I intend to attach the fenders to this frame that had previously been part of a walker. As I build my prototype, everything is held together with heavy duty zip ties. So I have them coming in from the end so the things couldn't escape to the end. I have them going around the side. Uh, this is what the zip ties look like. So it says they're rated for 175 pounds. But uh, I'll put the other side together and be back with you. Oh my God. So this is what the prototype looks like. And it appears that it'll accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. So uh, tomorrow I'll decide how I'm going to attach it to the boat. And sometime next week I'll take it out on the water and see if it makes any difference.